If he does it again, beat him. <laughs> I know he's 19. But men never grow up. He thinks he's a man. We have to do the growing up for them. <laughs> now, they're still in bed, apart from Sean. You know, you can't wake Desmond up before 10 o'clock on Sunday. And as for Gloria, she gave up Sunday mornings a long time ago. <laughs> Church? You mad? <laughs> I'm this lot vaguely aware of Christ is at Christmas. <laughs> and that's because they get presents and they eat too much. <laughs> oh, Bev, I gotta go now. Quasimodo just walked in. <laughs> well, you know, the bells, the bells. <laughs> I know it's too early for church bells, Beverly. Bye-bye. Stupid woman. <laughs> Mom, she's your friend. I know, that's why I can call her what I want. <laughs> Boy, I hate Sunday mornings. Sunday newspapers are more like volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica. I have to go back to the shop at least four times just to finish my ram. Got an idea. Why don't you use this? Hmm? <laughs> you can put all your papers in here. No, Mum, that's shameful. Well, it'll save your several odd trips back to the shop. Mum, I wouldn't be seen dead walking along with that. Well, if you carry on the way you are, it's gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> Ooh, this is early for you, Desmond. I oh, know, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> Sean, go and make me a cup of coffee. Oh, why? Because I said so. <laughs> if I asked you to go and make me a cup of coffee, would you go and make it? No. Why not? Because you're my son. And? And it's too early. Boy, just boy, get off your... Boy! But, but that's what people seem to see me as now, this is a boy. Well, I'm not a boy anymore. So what are you then? Well, I'm... I'm mm, well, I'm not a boy, that's for sure. I just want to be treated like an adult. Ah, but Sean, you're only 15. Only 15? Mum, next birthday, I'm going to be 16. I mean, how old do you have to be to be taken seriously? How do you expect me to take you seriously when you're behaving like a child? Now go in the kitchen and make me a cup of coffee. There's none. That's not the way to handle things. The boy is the youngest. That's the problem with being the youngest. Once the youngest, always the youngest. I want to be treated like a man. <laughs> My son has gone from being a boy to an adult to a man, all in five minutes. <laughs> He gets a little job delivering papers. He grows some fluff in his chin and on his... There's man. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he thinks he's a man. Well, let me tell you something, young man. You have a long way to go. And as soon as you feel you man enough to wear the trousers in this house, you can leave. Because there's only one man wears the trousers in this house, and that's me. Now go in there and make me a cup of coffee. Please. Please. <laughs> Dad, can I have the kind of supplement, please? Of course you can, darling. Thank you. Make a cup of tea, Sean. Please. <laughs> you seem to be spending a lot of time with Veronica Lloyd these days, Sean. Yeah, she's um helping me with my um. Well, we're kind of writing a computer game together, you know. Computer game together. Leave it at Gloria. Oh, I'm only putting your leg. You're too young for her anyway. Too young? What do you mean too young? I'm 15. And she's 17. And 17 year old girls don't go out with boys. Oh, I suppose they go out with girls then. Oh, don't be silly. They <laughs> normally go out with men. Yeah, and you're looking at one. <laughs> See you later, sis. I'm off. Where are you going now? Out. Where are you going, young man? This young man is off to see a young woman about a computer program. Matthew, aren't you supposed to be at college today? No, Desmond, it's half term. Mind you, I do have a lot of essays to write. Oh, you do, do you? Yes. And they are? One, a high interest rate, a necessary evil, or a monetarist crutch. Discuss. Ooh. <laughs> Two, the decline of labor market is an economic reality. What steps should you take to adjust it? Send Matthew out to work. <laughs> <laughs> Three, is Desmond paying attention to that man's hair? Hello. You see this? Yeah. This bag carries one of the greatest memories I hold this. I'm surprised the bag is that big, Popeye. It's big enough to hit you over the head with, Matthew. I'm not going to lower myself to a student's mentality. 
Most people become students, leave college and get a job, not wait to collect the pension. Some of us haven't got the capacity even to become a student. Ding, ding, round three. Gentlemen, before we begin round three, let me warn you of the Desmond rules. The, the Desmond, Desmond rules? Yes. Rule one, stop arguing. Rule two, watching the blasted band. And rule three, what are you looking at? <laughs> All right, this record reminds me of my first true love. You mean somebody actually loved you, Paul Pie? Yes. <laughs> Her name was Sandra from the fruit market. You mean Sandra Bishop? Yes. Sandra. Sandra was every man's first love. <laughs> she was? <laughs> what you laughing at? Anyway, that tune was a hard tune. Shirley, may I? Oh, certainly, Pork Pie. Uh, sorry, Veronica, let's go back to your place, yeah? How can you let the girl carry on everything like that? I'm sorry, right. that is called sexual equality. But well, don't look equal to me. Hey, well, it is too, uh... Oh, by the way, this is Veronica, my mum, my dad. Hi. Let's go do it too, V. What are you doing? <coughs> it's called women's lib. <laughs> so, um, are you going to introduce us then? Oh, yeah, this is, um... The Peckham Prince. <laughs> nice to know that Sean has good taste, eh? <laughs> You're all right, Lee. Let's go, Veronica. Ah, uh, young love, eh? He seems to be in the atmosphere. Thanks, Percy. How times have changed. You know, when I was young and in love, the boys used to carry the girls' books back home from school. Now the boys let the girls carry computers. <laughs> I remember my first love. Oh, yes? I've got to hear this. Oh, she was the daughter of a poor farm worker. You see, we were quite well off, so it was not the darn thing to uh, go out with somebody below your status. But when my father found out, he took me aside and assured me that love was sweeter than money. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Amazing how wrong grown-ups can be. What happened? The wretched girl stole my father's wallet and I never saw her again. <laughs> Smart girl. You win some, you lose some. That's my motto. I mean, I don't believe in first love, because every time's a first, from the first time you set eyes on her to the first time you said I'd like to get hold of her. It's all the first time until the next time. Oh. Oh, young people today are so cynical. Hey, whatever happened to your sense of romance? That uh, fluttering feeling, you know, that, that, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Is that how I made you feel? No. No? What do you mean, no? How did I make you feel? Up, let us in. Whatever that was, it never made me feel like that. Mm. <laughs> what did you feel like then, Pope Pie? Well, after the first week with my wife, we both felt like. Uh... <laughs> um, thanks for coming over, Veronica. Sean, it's okay. I said we'd write this program at half term. Oh, damn. What? You thanked me for coming over so many times, I've written it as a command. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when I asked you to come over, I didn't think you'd come. Why? You've been over to my house a few times. Yeah, I know, but your father, you know, he's a preacher. <laughs> so? Well, he's always there. But it's Sean. It's his house. Yeah, I know, I know, but my father's not a preacher. I know. He's a barber. I'm writing a computer game. And shall we loop this command? Where? There. Where? There, Sean. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> <clears throat> well, what should we do? Well, I mean, I'd like to, um... Would you like to... Pump up the yam! Pump up the yam! Pump the yam! Pump it up! Mm -mm -mm. How's it going, scientists? You and Mastermind sorted out how to plug the ozone layer, yeah? No, not yet, Gloria. <laughs> yeah, but once we do, we'll give it to you, cos there's a bigger hole in the middle of your face that needs plugging. Uh, Don't come face to me, cos I'll just put it to shame in front of you. <laughs> What do you want, Gloria? How's it going? Well, we seem, we to, seem have... to have come to a minor problem, but I'm sure we can sort it out. Oh, I don't think so. There's always a problem with sophisticated machines trying to run on new software. Don't you agree, Veronica? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, not if the new software gives the old machinery a kick in the right direction. Oh, oh, I'm going. See you at school on Monday, Ron. See you Monday, Gloria. <laughs> 
If you um go to 17B, then the third loop system will be complete. Yeah, but the go-to command will only be relevant if you want the ninja to jump the Empire State Building, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, how would you like to um I mean would you like would, would you like a drink? <laughs> a drink, Veronica. No, thank you, Mrs. Ambrose. Are you sure? Yeah. No, Mum. How's the game coming along? Fine. Fine. Uh, what's it called again? The Lady Ninja's Wicked Revenge. <laughs> well, personally, I prefer Scrabble. But you know, Sean is too busy nowadays to play Scrabble with me. <laughs> right. Veronica. Will you. Yes, Sean. I will come out with you tonight. I'll be round about seven, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> if I leave this stuff here. Yeah, OK. All right. <laughs> See you later then, OK? Yeah, OK. <laughs> All right! <laughs> This is very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> What's so interesting? This is just a game of cards. So get on with it, you African student. <laughs> this is more than just a card game. This is a game of strategy, bluff, and double bluff. I thought you was playing Rummy. We well, are. Well, I don't know what match you was playing. <laughs> <clears throat> She's worth it. Of course she is. Oh. oh. You look good, son. Thanks, Mum. So you feel like a man now? Well, I'll tell you after tonight, won't I? Sean! <laughs> hey, Mum, listen, can I borrow some money? Oh, Sean. Borrowing money to impress. I mean, borrowing money and look. Why don't you ask your father? <laughs> because he won't give it to me. That's right. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> well, answer me this simple question, and if I'm satisfied, I'll let you have the money, OK? OK. All right. Tell me, why should I give you money when you're just being paid from your paper round? Because I'm your son, and you like me best. No. Oh. <laughs> because Dad's tight-fisted. He never gave me enough pocket money. That's why I had to take the job in the first place. Oh, you call him tight-fisted? <laughs> Yesterday, you wanted to be treated like a man. If you want money, you must earn it. Earn it. Uh, all right. I'll tidy my room. I'll do my homework on time. All that benefits you. What are you going to do to benefit us? Uh, all right. I'll sweep the shop floor for a week. That's better. Starting tomorrow. No. When I get in tonight... Done. How much you want? Say 50 pounds for starters. How about... <laughs> How about five pounds for starters? How about seven? Three. Five. Done. This mm. way. <laughs> That's what I call strategy. And this is what I call a rummy. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Ah, I thought you'd like to use this tonight. Oh, leave it, Dad. That, that stuff smells. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> uh, Lee, can I have a word, please? Yeah, anytime. Ah, listen, Lee. I don't have to ask you this, but where's a good place to take her? Ah, it all depends. How much money you got? Twenty quid. I thought like I'd take her ice skating, then wine her and dine her, then take a cab home. What? All on twenty quid? <laughs> A mortgage for that lot. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you reckon? See, I come to you because you're always pretty cool. <laughs> I know, mate. <laughs> well, see, she's older than me, and I don't want to blow it. We well, ain't doing too badly, are you? First date, older woman. Come on, be serious. I didn't want to go to Michael. Nah, any tips from him, and you certainly blow it. Listen, <laughs> all I can say is be yourself. Try not to impress. I know I'll give it a big one, but that's because I'm a flash sod. <laughs> nah, I do it because I enjoy it. Here today, gone tomorrow. But you're different. Tonight will be different. Listen, just take it as it comes and don't force it. I'll tell you what I do for you, right? A mate of mine owns a pizza place on Street of My Street. I'll give him a ring. Nothing fancy, but good vibes. I'll make sure he sees you straight. And that's for the bus back. And I'll even throw in a lift up there just for good measure. How's that grab you? Oh, thanks, Lee. Look, I really... Don't mention it. You're part of the family. Hey, you don't think it's getting a bit over the top, you know, you driving us up there and that? Nah. I'll make you seem natural. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Ambrose? 
Good evening, That's Veronica. It. That's it. That's it. Look. Oh, summer, <laughs> How old is she? She's seven. Oh, this is my date. Thanks, <laughs> Veronica. You're telling me. Um, shall we go then? Yeah, where are we going? Um, Streatham. Streatham? Funny. I was thinking of driving that way myself. <laughs> uh, shall I give you a lift? Bye. Uh, yes, please. Well, how late will you be? Surely. Time and a half, Mum. Time and a half. Okay. <laughs> Have a good time. I will. Please. Keep off the old block. <laughs> Goes the right word. She went. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? What for? Oh, it helps. Well, Lee gave us a lift up to Streatham. Mm -hmm. Veronica sat in the front of the car next to Lee, played with his gadgets and talked to him all the way up there. <laughs> then she invited him to come ice skating with us. And did he? Well, no, but he might as well have, mm. because she didn't stop talking about him all night. Isn't he nice? Lovely car, nice stereo. <laughs> As we come out of the ice rink, I had to hide her from some old geezer she didn't want to see. I thought it was her uncle or someone from her father's congregation. It was her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> he was old enough to be her father. That made me feel about free. <laughs> it must have been the biology teacher. Biology teacher? Yeah, she... <clears throat> I mean, Veronica used to have biology lessons at our college. She had a fling of him, you know. Why didn't you tell me? I tried to. You told me to push off, remember? <laughs> anyway, it would have made the slightest bit of difference. Yeah, but you're my sister. You're Being supposed... your sister is even more of a reason why you wouldn't listen to me. So what happened next? Well, we got to the, the pizza restaurant which Lee lined up. Mm -hmm. Things settled down. It was going OK. Mm -hmm. Until Lee's friend who owned the place came and insisted on giving us special treatment because we were friends of Lee mm -hmm. and she was off again. She wanted to know everything about Lee, from his inside leg measurement to which toilet paper he used. <laughs> in the end, I had enough. I packed her in a cab and I took the bus home. Oh, that's really oh. noble of you. It wasn't that. Couldn't stand a gang and about Lee travelling home as well. <laughs> Tell me something. Yeah? Why are we watching TV with no sound? I've seen it before. <laughs> so, Desmond, tell me now. How did Sean get on with Veronica? I mean, was it a case of... <sighs> or, uh... <laughs> if we don't know, he was up before us on his paper round. Hmm, he's a bit late, though. Oh, he said he was going for a walk in the park afterwards. Did you see him last night? Yeah, just for a bit. Did he tell you what happened? Come on, Mum. Sean wouldn't tell me anything. I'm his older sister. That's true. Anyway, look at you. You're like hawks waiting to pounce on a bit of juicy gossip. We are not gossips, are we, Pope Pai? Men don't gossip. Only women gossip. Oh. We chat, we debate, don't we, Pope Pai? Yeah, ma. <laughs> this is the thing. Mm. Typical of men, you know. You give it all kind of grand titles like chat, discuss, debate. And when we do the same, it's gossip. <laughs> and I suppose these debates are interesting, stimulating, provocative, informative affairs? Yeah, ma. Mm, lace with biting wit and social insight? Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> I want to hear some of this. Tell us something incisive. Well, um, we are here. Men don't gossip as much as women. <laughs> Where is it? Let's hear all the juicy details. No, Africans gossip. <laughs> we West Indians don't. We debate. Where is he? Where's the golden boy? Listen. Why y'all don't just mind your own business, eh? Leave Sean alone. Is, uh, is Sean here? Oh, no, he should be soon. Do you mind if I wait? Oh, no. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better go. No, please stay. He should be here any minute. Sean? Sean, Sean. Sean. That's my name. Don't worry, Al. <laughs> Hello, Veronica. I've, uh, I've come to pick up my computer. OK, let's go and get it, then. <laughs> Listen, about, about last night. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Sean, I'd better go first, because I feel I owe an apology. I'm really sorry about last night. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, as stupid as it may sound, I thought we were just friends. 
Nothing more and nothing less. I know last time I came round here, you tried to get a bit intimate, but I thought I made my feelings quite clear. I thought you were just playing hard to get. I was. I didn't want to be got. <laughs> and so when you tried to kiss me in the restaurant, it not only came as a shock, but it was a bit embarrassing as well. I'm sorry about going on about Lee so much. I realised now it was a bit tactless. Tell me something. Anything. What do you see in him? That's not a fair question. And life's not fair. I can take it. I'm a man. Are you sure? <laughs> you owe it to me. He's older, he's got a car, yeah, he's got... Yeah, hold it right there, I get the message. <laughs> bye, Sean. Yeah, bye. Oh, no. Listen, Bye, Mr and Mrs Ambrose. Well, bye. Look, is everything all right? Yeah, but I don't think Sean and I will be seeing much of each other in the future. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, well, in that case, would you like to lift home? Oh, well, I would, yeah. Pork pie, you ever see a praying mantis? <laughs> no? Well, see you, dear. <laughs> Maybe the lift can extend to a date tonight at eight. I'll come and pick you up. We'll hit the town. I can show you a few scenes you ain't seen before. No expense spared, eh? What do you reckon? Any man who could stand and watch a woman struggle with a heavy object like this and not even offer to help is not the sort of man I want to spend an evening with. <laughs> you should have seen Lee's face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Especially when she cut him dead and said, you're not the sort of man I want to spend an evening with. Shim! <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you can give her a hand with that heavy bag? <laughs> but can you blame her? Hmm? Or what a stupid excuse he gave. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you think you'd have come back with a better line than... What was it? Oh, I thought you were a feminist. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> No Ambrose man would speak to a lady like that. <laughs> but I must say, I had to hand it to her when she said, you may be a man, Lee, but last night I went out with a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs>